Hi friends, welcome back to the next video of Firestore tutorial. If you don't know me, then I am Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So today we will learn updating the saved products in our cloud Firestore. As you can see here, we have products. This is a collection. Inside this collection, we have number of products that we saved from our application that we created in the previous video. Okay, we also done reading the values from cloud Firestore. And in this video, we will learn how we can update the saved values from our application. Okay. So this is what we are going to learn in this video. And again, I have already created the update product activity with the required fields to save time. Okay. As you can see here in my project, I have created this update product activity. And it is the same thing that we created for saving the product. And actually, I just forget to change the text. So let me change it to update product. Okay. So I just copied the XML and pasted it here. And I changed the text to update and ID to update. Okay. And also in the Java class, I have created the view objects. I have initialized everything. I have added the click listener to button update. I have copied the same method for validation and I created a method to update the product and here I am doing the validation as we did while saving the product and when the click button as button update I am calling the method. So I have done all these things the basic setup. Okay. So how we will update the product from the list that we are seeing let me show you by running the application first so from the list we have the list of products we will attach a click listener to the item okay when we will click on a item the new activity which is update product activity that i created will open and from there we can update the product okay so this is what we need to do so the first thing is we need to attach a click listener to the item Okay, and we can do this thing in products adapter. So here to our item view, which is the view object of our layout product, we can attach a click listener. Okay, so here we can simply write item view dot set on click listener and we can pass this and we can implement the click listener into this product view holder class. Okay, so we will implement view dot on click listener. Okay, now we can also implement the methods. So press alt enter and select implement methods and the click method is implemented. Okay, now this method will be called whenever we will click on any item on the recycler view. Okay, so here we can open the next activity, but we also need to pass the selected product. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, we will create an intent here. So let's create an intent. So we have the intent. Now for the first parameter, we need to pass the context object and we already have the context object. Okay. You can see it here. MCTX. So we have MCTX and for the next parameter, we have the class that we want to open and that is our up update product activity dot class okay so here we will write update product activity dot class that's it now we will put the selected object into this intent okay so let's do it we will write intent dot put extra and for the key or the name we will write product okay and we need to get the product object that is clicked and we can get it from the product list okay so here we will create a product object and we will get it from product list and for the index we can call the method get adapter position and it will give us the position of the product that is clicked okay so now we can add the product to our intent but it will again give you an error uh, let me check. So I have already implemented the serializable interface. Okay. So let me delete it for now. 
because it was not there in previous video. Now come back to products adapter. You can see we have an error. Okay. So if you want to pass an object through intent, you need to implement the serializable interface in your class. Okay. Now the error is gone. Now we can start the activity using the context object. So mctx dot start activity and we can pass the intent that we created. Okay. That's it. Now at the update product activity side, we will get the intent here. Okay. So first we will create a product object and we will write get intent dot get serializable extra and we will pass the name that we want to get and you can see here we have given product as the name so here also we will write product okay now we can cast this thing to product so cast it to product and the error is gone so we have the product that is clicked that is clicked in the products activity okay the recycler view so we can use this product object to display the values into these edit texts okay so let's do it quickly edit text name dot set text product dot get name and the same way we can set all the values so let me do it very quickly now remember uh, edit text the set text method takes string okay so we need to convert the value of quantity and price to a string because it is number one is double and one is integer okay so i wrapped it inside string dot value of so we have the values into the edit text now let's test if it is working or not okay so let's play the application click on view products and select any product you can see we have the next activity and we have the values of the product that we selected okay now from here we will change the values and we will click on this update button to update the product okay but before updating the product we need the id of the product okay as you can see this is the id of the product okay so we need this id if you want to update a product or a document okay because this product is nothing but a cloud file store document so let's get the id first so into our product class we will create a exclude property because we do not want to save it as a product okay so here we will write exclude private string id okay and we will create getter and setter for the id so let's select getter and setter and select id so we have the getter and we have the setter for the id now come back to products activity and here when we are reading the product we can set the id of the product and we can get the id from this document snapshot object so here we will write d dot get id and now we have the id of our product now into update product activity we are doing the validation and if the validation succeeds we can update the product but again we need a firestore firebase object so here we will write firebase firestore db okay and we also need this product so we will define the product object globally here so we will write private product product okay and the product is initialized here now after initializing the product we will also initialize the firebase firestore object now when the validation succeeds we will update the product so for updating we are going to override the existing product okay so if we will save a new product into this id this product will be updated 
okay or you can say overwritten okay so for now we do not need to update a particular field inside product so that is why we are using this method and in the next video we will learn updating specific fields as well okay so let's overwrite the product in this video so first we will get the product document and we can do it by writing db dot collection and we have the collection products and then we will call document and we will pass the document id and we have the document id inside this product object so here we will write product dot get id now we can call set method and we will pass a new product to save okay so here we can create a new product object so let's write product p equals to new product and we can pass all the values name brand description price quantity okay and for the price and quantity we need to convert the price into double and we need to convert the quantity to integer okay so we will write integer dot pass and so we have our product object now we can pass it here okay and then we can attach an add on success listener okay and here we can display the message like product updated okay that's it now it will work so let me show you it is working let's run the application go to view products and let's update redmi note 5 pro So let's make it redmi note 5 and let's change the price to 1299 okay and let's click on update you can see we got the message product updated and here you can see we have the updated values okay so it is working fine guys So that is all for this video friends i hope you found it helpful if you did then please share it with your friends and tell them to subscribe simplified coding thank you guys this is bilal khan signing off